everyone and welcome to Psyche Truth, Sanella here. So today the flow is going to be, we're going to be focusing on our lower body, making the legs nice and strong. As we are building the nice strength in the lower body, we're going to be also sweating out and building more definition in the muscles and using the body and, and using it for resistant training as well so you can also lose some pounds at the same time as you strengthening your lower body and also your midsection. So here we go. We're going to begin. So get in a nice seated, comfortable posture here. Keep your heart lifted. Make sure that your shoulders are relaxed down away from your ears. And then from here, I invite you to close your eyes and bring all your attention to your breath. We're going to take about five to six breaths here. So let's begin. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And gently exhale through your mouth. Inhale deep, all the way into your belly here, and then gently exhale, and just align yourself to come to this present moment, gently exhale, inhale deep here, Exhale. So breath just allows us to be more connected with our body here in this present moment. One more time, deep inhale all the way into your belly here. Expanding your lungs here. And hold it for a second. And gently exhale. Relaxing your shoulders down. Rising both hands all the way up. Moving with your breath and gently we're going to twist to your right side here. You can go ahead and open your eyes if you like. If you don't, just keep your eyes closed and keeping that connection within you at the beginning of our practice. And gently coming back to center, both hands all the way up. And let's twist to your left. Again, keep your eyes open or closed, whatever works the best for you. Keeping your spine nice and long here, so we are warming up the spine for the beginning of our practice. And gently coming back to center here, maybe put a little smile. And let's go ahead, twist again to your right here. Always being gentle, allowing yourself to just really listen to your body, hear your breath here. Relaxing those shoulders down. And then come back to center, both hands all the way up. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and come into that seated forward fold a little bit, placing your arms down gently. Last is your head coming down here. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale. One more time, deep inhale. Exhale. And gently walk back to center here. Nice, rising both hands all the way up. Inhale deep. Then exhale, placing your right hand beside your right side of the body and moving into that seated side stretch here. So keeping your spine nice and long as you feel a nice pull, nice stretch the side of your body here, stretching your obliques here and just feeling really good and warming up the body before you begin your practice here. Take a nice deep breath one more time. Exhale gently. And then come back to center here, both hands all the way up. And go ahead and move to your left side here again. Kind of pretend as if something is pulling towards the left of you here. So keeping that body nice and long so you can really feel that stretch in the side body here. Take a deep breath one more time here. Gently exhale. And coming back to center here. 
One more time on each side here. Same thing. And listen to your body here. Listen to your breath. Really feel each muscle activation here. Feel that breath. Letting go of any judgment and just being here and now and being connected to your body here. And gently coming back to center. I'm already feeling that nice blood flow in my body here. Good job. Coming back to center. One more time, we're going to come into that forward fold. So gently keeping that spine still nice and long as you extend your arms in front of you as far as you can go. And dropping your head down last here. Maybe you can go down onto your elbows and just really relax here. Listen to your body. Go in your own pace. And take a nice deep breath. And gently exhale. One more time. Deep inhale. Exhale. And try not to control your breath as you exhale. Really just allow yourself to feel it and just let it come out naturally without any force. All right. How are you feeling? I hope you feel good and ready for our practice now. So let's go ahead and open our legs here. Then we're going to go ahead and go on to all fours here. And then go ahead and have your big toes touch each other and move into that child's pose here. Nice and gently placing your head down to your mat. Take a deep breath. Exhale. And then go ahead, start moving towards the right side of your body. Again, we're stretching the side body here. Just lengthening it and moving the spine here. And just awakening the body here. And gently walk back to center. Always moving with your breath here and just listening to your body. It's so important. It literally will whisper to you. It will tell you what it needs, what it wants. Be gentle with it. Be patient with yourself. And gently walk back to center here. One more time. Deep inhale. Exhale. All right. Let's come all fours here. Now from here, coming into a nice long plank. You can keep your knees down here. And then gently, you're going to go all the way down, keeping your elbows stuck in into your rib cage here. And then gently extend your toes here and gently lift into cobra. If it's comfortable for you to stay right here, listen to your body and stay here. Try to push those shoulders back and down away from your ears as you lift your heart here. And gently coming back down. In your up dog here, you can gently lift as high as you can and lift off of your mat so only toes and your hands are um, touching the mat here. So up dog will definitely help to strengthen your body here. Pretty much your entire body is engaged here. Keep your core tight, shoulders are nice and strong here, nice strong arms here. Take it a nice deep breath. Nice and gently. Tuck your toes in and move into that downward facing dog here. Perfect. And your downward facing dog, go ahead, relax your head down, maybe saying yes, maybe saying no. And just relaxing the spine here, releasing any tension in your neck here. As you bend in your knees, keeping that tailbone shooting towards the ceiling here, relaxing your head down, take a deep breath here. Exhale. Good. Now straighten your right leg as your left leg stays nice and bented here. So we are stretching the back of the body here, your hamstrings, and switch sides. Again, move with your own pace here. Good. Both knees bented now. Again, nice long spine. Good. Now lift your right leg as high as you can. If it feels right, right here, stay right there. And then gently 
place your knees down, bring that right foot forward, lifting your back leg here, and then gently lifting. If you need to keep it right here, do so, leaning back just like that. If you can, lift it off the mat just like this. Take a nice deep breath here. Relax your shoulders down. Just like that. And then gently placing that left knee down. Extend your toes, palms together, bring it to your heart. And then twist here. Now you can stay right here if you're a beginner. Just like that, take a nice deep breath, looking over that right shoulder. If you can go a little more advanced, stack your left toes in and then lift that left leg up just like that and hold there for a breath or two, listening to your body and really challenging yourself a little bit. If you need to take a break, do so. I'll be right here waiting for you. Good job, gently coming back down to center. Placing the knee down. Moving into that child's pose here. <sighs> Good job. All right, let's come back up and down. We're facing dog again. Nice deep bend in your knees here. Now lifting that left leg up just like that and gently bring it through again. Lifting your arms up just like that. Again, you can stay right here. Maybe a little more challenging. Lift your right knee off the ground just like that. Heart is lifted. Nice, strong legs here. So using some of the biggest muscles in your body here. So it's forcing the body to work a little bit harder or use more energy. And it will definitely break a sweat in this flow. Again, Listen to your body and uh, just go for it. And gently place it back down. Palms together, bring it to your heart and twist here. Again, you can stay right here. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, lift that right knee off the ground and move into that twist here. Maybe look towards the ceiling here. Maybe smile, be gentle. Breathe, let go. <sighs> Good job. All right, gently coming back down to center and move into that child's pose here. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale. Nice, all right. And let's move into that vinyasa and gently coming back down. Stand the toes a deep inhale. Cobra here. Again, you can do level one right here. If you want to go all the way up, just like that. Be gentle and gently coming back down. Inhale deep. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Deep bent in the knees here. I'm sure you can already feel the body's much warmer and you can feel much more confident in doing this flow with me and gently lifting that right leg up and bring it through. Ah, lifting those arms, dropping your hips forward and down here. Ah, you can lift it up, challenge yourself again, like I said earlier. Palms together, bring it to your heart. Twist here. <sighs> Gently coming back down to center. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees, move into that child's pose again. Take a deep breath here. <sighs> so I call this a little rest in between, switching sides. All right, let's come back up, downward facing dog. Lifting your right, left leg up. And then gently place it back down. Bring it through. Left. So this is called cruise and lunge. So there's a lot of power in this posture right here. As you can see, 
my left leg, my left eyes are really engaged, my glutes are engaged, my core is engaged here. Then when I lift my arms up, my arms are engaged here too. So everything is being engaged in this posture. And so that way it really builds a lot of strength and a lot of awareness to the body here. So you can stay right here. I lift it up. It's up to you, my friends. You know, get out of the comfort zone. Challenge yourself. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's come back down to center. Again, moving into that child's pose. Take a deep breath. If you need to stay longer here, again, listen to your body. Do so. If not... Let's go ahead and move into that vinyasa again. All the way down. Inhale deep. Coming all the way up. Shoulders back and down. Heart is lifted. And gently coming back down. Up dog. In your up dog, there's a lot of power. Again, you're using your body for resistance. So you're building a lot of power in your core, in your arms, in your shoulders. And just a whole awareness in the body right now you are learning about. It's great. Take a deep breath one more time. <sighs> Tuck your toes in. Downward dog. Bend in your knees here. Just like that nice long spine. Maybe move your head. Say yes. No. Eee, feels really good right here. This is one of my favorite postures to do. It feels really good because I could feel my spine just lengthening and relaxing the pressure. It just feels really, really good. All right. Lifting the right leg. Gently bring it down. Bring it through. Lifting all the way up. You can lean back here if you can. If not, stay right here. Palms together, bring it to your heart, twist. <sighs> Keeping that spine nice and long here. Ooh, I'm kind of being off the balance here, but that's okay. Catch yourself if you are too. No judgment. <sighs> and gently coming back down. <sighs> Child's pose. Lifting that left leg, bring it through. Ah, palms together, bring it to the center of your heart and then twist here. Ooh. Feeling it right now. I can feel the burn in my thighs here, but it feels good. Summer is around the corner. It's a perfect flow to toning the lower body and firming it, firming those muscles for bikini ready. Yeah. All right, gently, let's come back down. Downward facing dog. All right, now let's go all the way down, just like that. Then extend your arms like a letter T. Then you're gonna place your head down, lifting the left leg, and then twist here just like this. We are almost done here. Good job for allowing yourself to come here and do this uh, practice, this flow. Ooh, I could just stay here. All right, gently, let's come back to center. And same thing on the other side. I'm gonna lift that right leg. Oh yeah, did you hear that crack? I did. Felt really good. <laughs> All right, gently come back to center. Place your palms together, lift. And let's move into that child's pose one more time, but this time I want you to open your knees as far as you can. Have your big toes touch each other and gently placing your sitting bones down to your 
legs and then extending your arms in front of you here. You're gonna take three deep inhales here, line your hips to just melt into your mat here. Take a deep breath. And exhale. And gently start to walk your body up. Keep your eyes closed here. And gently, you're going to come into a seated lotus posture here. I feel relaxed. I feel really good and limber. My legs are a little bit on fire, but it was well worth it. All right. And let's just take a second here. Quiet our thoughts and quiet our mind here just take a moment to really notice our energy notice how you feeling right now feeling your own heartbeat just quieting for one second here letting go of everything just hearing your body whisper to you here it talks to us just allow yourself to hear it. Gently rising both hands all the way up. Palms together. Bring it to the center of our hearts. And just take a second to give yourself thanks for coming to this practice and doing something amazing for our body, our mind and our spirits. Put a little smile on your face. Take a deep breath one more time with me. Hold for a second and gently exhale as you open your eyes. Ooh, wasn't that amazing? I know I was feeling really good. I feel calm and centered and strong right now. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for doing this flow, doing something to help yourself to get ahead, to get a healthier body, feel good mentally and emotionally, spiritually, and things like that. Uh, make sure to favorite this video, subscribe to Psyche Truth, and until next time, namaste. And I'll see you in the next video.